Do you know what alternate day fasting is? ADF. If you want to be a beast, you want to be big and muscular, you got to live like a beast. If you were a caveman and you were going to grow and become big and strong and bad, you might go a day or two without any food and then you would catch some prey and then you would feast. And that cycle of feast and famine triggers something in the body that you need to be tough. You need to grow. You need to be big and strong versus just being in a calorie deficit all the time. The way I dieted my whole life was to be in a calorie deficit. I tried to eat 2,500 calories a day. I consistently do that without any cheat meals and I lose one or two pounds a week. After about three or four weeks, I only lose one pound a week and I have to cut my calories down to 2,300 and then I have to cut them down again until eventually I'm at 2,000 calories to lose one or maybe one and a half pounds a week. So after a couple months, three months of calorie deficit dieting, I get diet fatigue, I get burnt out. I've never been able to reach my final goal weight with that style of dieting. So I did a bunch of research on alternate day fasting. I watched a bunch of videos on it. Number one, I can avoid diet fatigue. There's a few ways to do alternate day fasting. Some people will do one meal at the end of the day on their fasting day, and then the next day they eat normally. And then the next day they do one meal. I'm gonna do the more extreme one where you fast 36 hours. So I'm gonna do an entire day nothing and i'm gonna go to sleep hungry and the next day i'm gonna shoot for 3,000 calories on my on my eating days if i eat four days a week at 3,000 calories that means at the end of the week i've eaten 12,000 calories versus if i stay in a calorie deficit all week long at 2,500 at the end of the week i'll be at 17,500 calories so i'm going to be taking in 5,500 calories less every week just by doing alternate day fasting and the days that i eat 3,000 calories I'm going to be indulging like 2,500 calories. I have to cut. I have to limit myself. I can't indulge at 3000 calories. I'll be able to have breakfast. You know, I'm, <laughs> it'll be fun. Like this would be an amazing program for maintenance too. You could actually increase to like 3,300 a day or even 3,400 on your eating days. Like you could really go kind of overboard on your, on your eating days. One of the things I loved about my prolonged fast, was the feeling of ketones in my body. When I'm in a fasted state, my brain is running faster. I feel sharper, I feel more productive. A lot of that is the fact that you're running on ketones. The alternate day fasting means you are gonna have ketones in your body. All the prolonged fasts that I have done have been very difficult for me. The last fast I did was seven days. It was a challenge that made me not want to do another prolonged fast at the end of it. It's almost like I have to have a calling to do it. I have to think about it for a period of time and be mentally prepared. I have to prepare my life and it's difficult. Fasting every other day, I can time that so that on my days of fasting, it doesn't really hurt my social life. I can make sure that on my weekends, I'm able to eat and indulge. And then on my days that I'm in my grind, I can uh, have that extra productivity and the extra ketones and be in that fasted state. I've always done well with delaying uh, gratification. Like if I'm gonna have a big meal all day, I might go without eating in anticipation of wanting to be hungry for that big meal. It's like taking that a little bit more to the extreme. So I'm gonna fast all day and I'm gonna go to bed hungry and it's gonna be difficult. But the next day, I know that when I get up, I get to indulge and my body's going to suck up that protein and build the muscle. That's the kind of challenge I like 24 hours, 36 hours. That is much easier to wrap my mind around than five days or seven days or 21 days. I'm going to track my weight. I'm going to track my body fat percentage and I will let you know what kind of results I get from my alternate day fasting and how much can I indulge on the days I eat and how much do I struggle on the days that I have to go to bed hungry.